campaign. I have every confidence that we will be united as a party by the fall election, and I think before that. Howard Dean's confidence notwithstanding, there are deep questions among Democrats about whether Barack Obama will be able to count on Hillary Clinton's camp come the fall, especially if she's not his VP choice. Uh, I'm going to go my own way. I'm not sure I'm going to follow her to Obama. I, um, I need to think about it. Adding to the tension, a list of conservative Democratic superdelegates who say they won't endorse the Illinois senator and won't go to this summer's convention in Denver. Now party officials, including some staunch Clinton supporters, are scrambling to prevent her base from jumping ship. I understand. We all worked hard. It takes a little while. You have to take a deep breath. Uh, but the reality is, there, there is no doubt in my mind that it, it, there is such a clear difference and so much at stake for our country that people are going to rally around Senator Barack Obama. Thank you again. If they don't, John McCain appears to be waiting with open arms. I will attract independents, Democrats. By the way, uh, those supporters of Senator Clinton, I welcome you here today. But so. <laughs> So. Some Democrats may feel a closer affinity to McCain because they feel Clinton has had a good relationship with McCain in the past. A blog on McCain's website has even posted a picture of the two together in the Arctic during a trip with the Senate Armed Services Committee. The way to continue. Many insiders took notice of Clinton's lack of attack or even mention of McCain during her concession speech. But polling experts say it's really too early to tell if there will be defections. It's, I think you have to wait to, for the dust to settle on the primaries. Early indications are that there's a Gallup poll out this week suggesting that some women at least are coming around to Obama in spite of the, the, the feelings that, that Clinton may have gotten a raw deal because of her gender. Uh, we'll see what happens with that. On the streets of New York City, some Clinton supporters think issues of race and sex are really what's at stake in the end. People that could not see a black president, racist people, would now switch to McCain. But it would have been uh, an interesting mark in history to have had her win. I think she was worthy of, of the office. Now the question is, who do they really think is worthy now? Ed Donahue, The Associated Press.